In this video, we'll be going over exercise 4.12, print triangle type. Essentially, this problem is asking for us to create a method, print triangle type, that will determine the type of triangle given the length of its sides. So we know that equilateral triangles will have three side lengths all the same. Isosceles triangles will have two side um, side lengths that are the same, and the scaling will have none. So let's keep that in mind as we create our method. As you can see, I created the method that the problem asks for print triangle type. Um, I made it void because we're only printing out the output. We're not actually returning anything. And I created three integer variables, which represent each of the three side lengths of the triangle. And I call them S1, S2, and S3. So we're going to use a series of if and if else statements to check whether, to check and see which type of triangle it is. So first, we're going to check for scaling, which means everything, all the side lengths are different. One does not equal S2. You can, as you can see here in the if, this first if statement, I'm checking all the possibilities to see that nothing matches up with each other, so that all three side lengths are completely different. That's scaling, and we can print that out. The next case we'll check for is equilateral. That means everything's the same. Then we can print out that equilateral. You might be wondering why I didn't check for S1 and S3. Um, that's because we already know that S1 and S3 are both equal to S2, so we already know that they're equal to each other as well. Finally, we need to check for isosceles triangles, which is already captured by the else. And we'll just need to print out. Now we're going to run this program to make sure it works. And it passes all the cases. Thank you.